water cooling is becoming more mainstream every day. Back in the beginning of cooling PCs, people were really afraid of water cooling because, you know, traditionally water and electricity never really did mix. But with the way engineering is today, with modern stuff going on, water cooling is becoming more prevalent daily and it actually works quite well. We've unboxed and taken a look at quite a few over here at Tech of Tomorrow, and today we're going to take a look at another one. Today we're going to look at the Sidon 240M from the people over at Cooler Master. Now this thing's supposed to be coming into market at about 100 bucks. supposed to be very competitive with the other products that are out there on the market. I haven't actually seen it yet, but with that said, let's actually jump in and see what this new Sidon is all about. All right, folks, so like usual, let's take a look at the front of the box. Cooler Master, you can see, got the dual 120 there sitting in the back side on 240 m liquid cpu cooler maintenance free says that down here overclocking designed for it two times the surface space neat stuff we'll flip the box around here's one side not much to that at all we'll flip it around the back where it basically shows you what's going on here shows you their pump and stuff shows you their rad now I'm going to flip it on the last side here and get the camera to zoom in on this. This actually does tell you all the specs. So if you're looking to know all the specs, check out these all right here. Starting from up here and working our way down, you can see them all. So, all right, that's all the specs. So now let's actually go for the unboxing. Take the trusty knife. Don't even have to use special effects. It's got its own. I'll make a nice insertion here on top right here. Go ahead and peel this plastic off of the dang thing. Get my hands in here and peel it off like a kid at Christmas morning. Get all that off of there. So let's see, let's start up here on top, I guess. Or let's see here, where does it go here? Where do we go, where do we go? I've never seen this particular box before, so Unboxing is, is an adventure for me as well as we discover how to open it up. All right, so there we go. So pops open right here. And now let's get the cameraman to zoom in and let's take a look at everything inside of here real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and remove stuff out of it piece of time. Here are the two 120 millimeter fans. You can see there's two of those all bearing the cooler master name get those out of the way mounting accessories now this thing will mount on any type of socket that's out there whether it's intel or it's amd if it's been made in the last 10 years pretty much this thing is going to be mounted on it comes with everything inside of here for both amd 1155 1366 AM3, AM2, whatever you're fancy. You even got your stuff right there. Your thermal paste. All of the mounting nuts. These are going to go probably to lock the thing down. So we'll go ahead and get this out of the way. Here's the actual instruction guides. Whoops, they're falling down here. So next up, here's the warranty paperwork. You guys don't need to see that. You guys know that it's there. Move on, here go all the instructions. Like, there's a lot of these. It's like too much for me to get out. But basically, there's instructions all the way around on how to mount the side on. All kinds of good information. Now let's move along. We got some more mounting stuff right here. Mounting screws, these are all gonna be on the top. additional hardware right here basically just a lot of different hardware there's even more down here these are all for the different type of things for mounting the zip socket on so let me get those out of the way now we come to the unit itself so kaboom all right pull this bad boy out here's their really small radiator here it's very thin though so it's going to fit in many many cases because of its thinness you guys can see that power connector now let's flip it around here let's take a look at the block 
and the pump. They're all contained in one. So let me get this up to the cameraman so you can see this, folks. So let me move this out of the way. Get the best shot for this. Probably right there is a good shot. Here you guys can see. The flexible cable, the, excuse me, the flexible cabling. And then here's, it's going to mount. Let me get this off of here real quick. There you guys can see, lots of surface area, total copper. Looks like it's already been on a machine, a lapping machine to lap this down and make it flat. Let's go ahead and put that back on. Going back to the radiator, one other thing right here, you guys can see that there is a fill port right here. So if you need to fill this back up, it's going to be right there. Thing comes self-filled though from the factory. So that's pretty much it. That's everything that comes in the side-on box. So there you have it, tech fans. Everything that comes in the box of the new Cooler Master Sidon 240M. Total AIO. Now, this thing you can't take apart and add anything onto it. It is how it is. This thing's actually going to start showing its age as all kinds of new products come out that you can actually take apart and still use, but they're still all in ones. They're kind of like all in ones that you can upgrade. That's the future. But for now, this thing's 97 bucks. That's a pretty competitive price range. We'll have to take it down to the lab, test it, and see how it does against the other products that are in this same price range. So with that said, folks, I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you guys back here on Tekka tomorrow. Peace out.